Hello everyone, my name is Roger and I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to make a simple and easy easier to calc farm for you in your worlds. This farm works for 1.19.2 and all versions of my coven up as far as I know. And if you guys are interested, there'll be a full materials list down in the description of the video. And if you guys enjoy this video, it helps a lot. Consider you like button and subscribe some more. Helps a lot and do appreciate it. And let's hop right into it today. I'm going to show you a simple and easy easier to calc farm right here. Now how this farm works is you go over here in this area, you go ahead and pull down this lever here. And the pistons go back and forth down here in the sand and also up here and go ahead and grow it and harvest it and it all goes into these chests right here and you should be able to get all oh, tons and tons of kelp and these chests will get filled in a matter of like basically no time and you go over here and just turn it off when you're done and uh, yeah this farm right here is my old kelp farm design it stopped working in 1.18.2 and now for some reason starts working in 1.19.2 which is kind of crazy so all the updates in between those do not work uh, but from 1.18.2 like work and then 1.19.2 works as well, which is very, very nice. I don't know if it's here permanently or it's going to stay here for a long time or it's going to be here just for a short little while and they're going to fix it with the next smallest update. You know, they're going to fix all the bug bugs in the game and basically this is kind of a bug and then they'll go on and just patch this up. I recommend building it and using it where you can and get tons of kelp out of it and you can start with this farm today. You can go up here in this area and get started by grabbing your blocks and go on ahead and count eight blocks right here. Go ahead and place eight blocks. You're going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then go over here in this area and go on and do eight blocks this way. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then do eight back here as well. And just make sure there's a gap right here for this area. This is where the sand's going. This is going to make it to where the easier tick works correctly. Then go over here in this area and grab your sticky pistons. And then go on and place eight right here on this middle block of blocks you placed here so not here or here just right here make sure they're facing this way towards the gap right here then go back here in this area and go ahead and place eight redstone all along here in this area then go over here in this area and place two blocks here one block here one block here break that middle block right there and then grab all your lever your redstone torch your repeater and your redstone and place a lever right here and place a redstone torch right here against this block. Don't place it here or anywhere else. Make sure just place it on the side of here. And then grab your repeater. Go ahead and place it right here. Don't miss any ticks. Just leave it like that. And then go over here and place redstone here, here, and here. And then you can go ahead and head over here. You can see the pistons should go back and forth constantly. Then go ahead and turn that off right there. And that should extend them right here out this way. Then you can place eight red sand right here. And then aim for the little front of the piston right here. And place eight sand right there. If you try to aim for the middle, you might go ahead and place it in between at the bottom here. You don't want to make sure, make sure there's ever any sand right here. You don't want any sand below the pistons right here. Then go over here in this area and go ahead and place deep slate all on top of here. And then three blocks right here. And then go over here in this area and do three blocks right here. And then two blocks right here. And then go over here and place eight blocks as well here. And then three blocks right here, three blocks right here, two blocks right here. And then after you're done with that, go over here in this area and place eight blocks right here in this area. Then go ahead and grab your pistons and go and place eight pistons right here in this area. Make sure the pistons are facing this way towards the front of the farm where the sand is and everything like that. And that way you make sure you build it correctly. Then go ahead and place three blocks right here and also three blocks right here. Then eight blocks right here on top and then go ahead and grab your glass and your glass panes. Now you don't need to use glass, it's not really necessary, it's not required. Uh, you will have to go ahead and use glass paints or maybe walls might work as well. But you will. Uh, you can go ahead and you can do like saw blocks if you want to for the glass. You don't have to do glass, I just use glass like you see in the farm. But if you guys want to use saw blocks, go ahead and place three blocks right here. Three blocks right here and here as well, beginning with three, three, nine blocks total. And do the exact same thing over here, just go ahead and do three blocks right here, three blocks right here and three blocks right here. Now afterwards, go ahead and grab your chest and your hoppers, and go over here in this area, place double chests right here in this area. There'll be four double chests total right here. You can also just do less. You can just do one double chest right here in the corner. You can do a row of hoppers all the way to the end of here, all going into one chest. But this makes it where it gives you more room and more space to make it to where you have more, you know, more room for your kelp and everything like that. So then go over here, that's right, crouch, and place a hopper into every single one of these right here. And go place all the way down eight hoppers total. Make sure all the nozzles or all the hoppers are facing into the chest. That way all the items go into the chest. And then go over here in this area and grab your glass panes and place eight glass panes here and eight glass panes here as well. And then grab your blocks or your glass and place eight right there. 
And afterwards, after you know that, go ahead and grab your slabs and your trap doors. And then go over here in this area and place eight top half slabs right here in this area. It's where we're really waterlogging the slabs right there. And then place eight trap doors all along here in this area. Then go ahead and after that, grab your water and go to these slabs right here. Do not do anything right here, like in this area. Go ahead and make sure you place it right here. And then go ahead and place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Make sure to waterlog the slabs only. Make sure you do that correctly. Probably try to make sure to not place any water, uh, like water on the side. Or you can wash with redstone. You have to redo that all over again. You probably don't want to do that. And then go over here in this area. Go ahead and open all of these trap doors up. And then go over here in this area. Grab your signs. And go ahead and place eight signs here. So do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's going to make it to where the water never goes on ahead and like just fills up right here in this top block area. This will make it to where the kelp goes uh, basically immediately to the collection system. If you don't put these signs here, the water's going to kind of just fill up in this area. And it's going to take kind of a little bit for the kelp to get to the hoppers. And you don't want that. You want to make sure they go into the hoppers as soon as possible. So that's why you would put the signs there. After that, after you're done with that, you go over here in this area and grab your blocks. Go ahead and crouch and place a block right here on the side of the repeater right here in this area. Then go over here and place two blocks right here and then go ahead and grab your repeater right here and then go ahead and place a repeater facing this way and then go ahead and turn it on to two ticks right there make sure it's on two ticks and then go over here in this area place a redstone right here and then go ahead over your crouch and place a redstone block or a regular block on top of this area make sure it's not a redstone block make sure there's a regular block right here in this area then go ahead and place a redstone right here and then go ahead and grab your redstone torch and place it right here and then that should turn off right there if you did it correctly then place another block right here and then go up here in this area go and place one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and then as you go right here and right here at the pistons make sure these are right below the pistons the back face of the pistons you know that these are the back face of the pistons because how you know the unique they look right here in this area then go over here in this area i'm going to place redstone all along here Make sure not to place any redstone right here in this area. Very important that you don't go ahead and place redstone right there. And after that, go ahead and grab your kelp. And then go over here in this area. Go ahead and open all these trap doors up right here in this area. And then go over here and then place kelp all along here in these areas on all these blocks. Now, a little bit of a warning. After it came here for a little bit, your kelp of these sand blocks here might break. And you have to go ahead and replace them every once in a while. But you should have tons of kelp. By the time that happens, and you should be able to easily replace any succeed they're growing already. And then you can go over here in this area and test out your farm. Make sure you did everything correctly, obviously, or else it will not work. Uh, but then we'll go over here in this area, go ahead and flip this lever right here. And as you can see, it goes back and forth. It goes on and pushes the sand back and forth with the sticky pistons. Make sure those are sticky pistons, and these are regular pistons. And then these ones go back and forth and harvest the kelp. And then you should be getting tons of kelp coming in. And like I said, I don't know if it's here to stay, or if it's here just for a little bit, or they're going to patch it as soon as possible. I recommend building this and getting it down and getting tons of kelp while you can. You can go ahead and turn the kelp into bone meal, and we can use it for your sugar cane. Farms, you actually hook this up to a sugar cane farm and literally just make it to where you do composters. I did this in my realm, and you go ahead and just have like composters and like coffers underneath these chests, turn them into bone meal, and then go to a you know sugar cane farm. And now we can get it for the sugar cane basically. And you go ahead and do tons of other things with it, just get bone meal, go ahead and grow your crops, some of that. And uh, yeah, you could also go ahead and just smelt it, get tons of kelp blocks for fuel, and you can also go build XP in your furnace and stuff like that. And uh, yeah, your farm should work. If you done, all good to go. I hope you guys enjoy and build this farming world. If you guys did, don't forget to consider hitting like button and subscribe. Helps a lot. Do appreciate it. And have an awesome day, everyone.